Hello again, Practical Magic friends. I'm here today to continue the um, making of the Practical Magic cover. This was a request that somebody asked if I could show you how I did the antiquing of the cover. So this is the forest journal that I'm working on and I'm at the point of antiquing the cover so I figured I'd show you how to do this. So this is my first kind of tutorial uh, video so please be kind and uh, so yeah so that's that so I want to show you one of the first times I did this um, I made this this one and one of the things I can recommend is do not make a custom color the first time you do this I ended up having to remix this color multiple times because I kept messing up <laughs> so I recommend you pick just a bottle color for your base coat um, trust me on that because at least for me I ended up messing up a lot um, so I use this periwinkle blue as the bottom and then I don't know if you can see there's a green and then I did the white on top when I antique this one um, oh I don't know if you can hear the plow going by it's a very cold day here in New Hampshire uh, and then I made this frame and I did some of it on that um, so yeah there's the uh, the green and the white so the layering and I'll show you how I did that so that would be my little bit of advice when you do this it it's because I don't know it, it I found it a little bit trial and error my first time so what I've done so far is when I made this I made it with this gray fabric which I painted brown and I don't think you can see it on camera but there is a dark green uh, paint that I did for the first patina layer and since it's so dark I, I went ahead and did that off camera but I'm going to do the, the white on top of that. So what you're going to need is a brush like this. And it's a really cheap, I've got a two inch brush that's got kind of like these scraggly bristles. Um, I think I got it at like a, like an Ocean State job lot. We have those up here, but like a Big Lots or a, I don't know, maybe a Walmart. It's a really cheap maybe even get it like used somewhere um, I don't know if like this kind of brush would work I haven't really tried it but this kind of brush works really well and it's a two inch brush um, then I put some paint in an old cup um, for the top layer I'm gonna use this is an antique white and then what you'll do should just dip the brush in hoping I'm still and then what you're gonna do is just you can see where I did it up there you're basically gonna almost take the paint off of the brush to the point where there's almost none left see how it's almost gone and that's when it's about ready to use so make sure you've got almost all of it off. And this is why it, it takes practice. And that's when you'll, see, barely start. This almost has too much. And that's, that's, yeah, this still has too much on. And that's why I say you might want to end up painting it again if you mess up. I ended up repainting that first one multiple times. So you go around the edges. And then you go across the...
very lightly. Every little bump is going to come out. You want to do it on the seams. Hope I'm still, yep. So I don't know how much you can see of that. You'll also want to make sure you get the tops and on the um, on the inside, even though you'll probably put papers in here, you'll still want, you know, usually the papers come just along the edges, so you'll still want to get along the insides. that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, it takes, I think, quite a bit of practice. You want to get around all the edges. And, uh, Usually you have to reapply it on the brush more times than this. It's, this one seems to be lasting a long time. But I mean, you can see, I don't know if you can see the difference, but see where I did it here and where I still have to do it here. So that's it. I don't know how much more I'll do, but I just wanted to pop on real quick and show you how that's done. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to say about that. I hope you guys found this helpful and thanks for watching. Bye!